motor show. Um, before the motor show, we met, of course, uh, where Nissan uh, came out with this announcement of being the official uh, automotive partner for Dubai Expo 2020. So, uh, your tie-in with Dubai as an entity and uh, the region seems to be getting stronger every year. Uh, what what work has been the performance during the year and uh, what are we looking forward to from Nissan uh, going into 2020? Yeah, if you look at the at this year, if we look about the fiscal year that we have, so if I compare the first six months of this year versus last year, I'm talking in the Middle East. So uh, our market share is 12%. Actually, we grew our market share by a little bit less than 1%, 0.8%. If I zoom in to UAE uh, with the same period, like uh, our market share is 17% and uh, we moved up by three points. So we've grew our market share in UAE. So uh, despite having some of the challenges in the industry in different segments where we see things going up and down in, in, in some places. So uh, uh, I think uh, uh, with our product offensive that we have and uh, the new product that we have launched, uh, I think our strategy is working to really maintain and grow our market share. Uh, oh, but again, over the year, we've seen uh, Nissan projecting itself. Uh, of course, you have a lot of strengths. You, your model range is so vast. Uh, but during the last year, uh, it, it almost turned out to be a year of the SUVs, where uh, multiple uh, SUV platforms were presented. Uh, you brought back uh, the, the, the Desert Safari versions of your vehicles. Um, has it, has it been on only growth within the SUV segment or are we seeing uh, some growth still within uh, sedans and uh, mainstream cars? You know, in that industry is stages obviously, so uh, as you can see last year was much more on the SUV side, so between uh, uh, I think bringing back the Super Safari uh, Y61, I know we did the five doors and the three doors and these are very popular models in our region. Uh, then we moved with uh, Pathfinder Model Year 18, then moved with obviously Kicks, which is a new entry to the segment, you know, in the SUVB. So did very well, you know, more than 50% market share. It took really the segment by storm across all markets. Then lately with uh, with the X-Trail. So obviously uh, the way we're moving, we are revamping our SUV, SUV line. And uh, I think you will see more year to come. Uh, the role of the car, the passenger car will come. So at the motor show today, we've introduced the uh, Maxima, the Midnight Edition. So it's a, it's a, it's a change to the car. It's a different trim, uh, and we've first time introducing it in, in our region. Uh, you'll see also the Micra. So we brought that the minor change on Micra, uh, model year 18, uh, and uh, it's there. So we have some plans there, but I think. Uh, you will hear more from us on this on the passenger car side as we go in the in the next year or so. Um, one of the themes which you are projecting out there, of course, is intelligent mobility. Um, other than the Leaf and uh, the Blade Glider, which you have shown there, uh, what, what what are we going to see concrete in terms of your mainstream models uh, yeah. incorporating intelligent mobility? Intelligent mobility is our umbrella. This is uh, and this is how we are. I think talk about our technology. So uh, the Leaf represents uh, Nissan Intelligent Mobility in terms of like vision. However, most of the Intelligent Mobility features, they do exist in our cars today. Mo all the cars that we're launching, they have Intelligent Mobility. So we have three pillars of Intelligent Mobility. The Intelligent Driving, the Intelligent Power. So if I talk Intelligent Driving, it's about the powertrain that we have. If I talk about the intelligent mobility, you know, about some of the features. So if I talk about the feature today, they have the 360, uh, I think, camera, the blue one, you have it there, so it's part of there. If I talk about the safety part, uh, the lane departure, which is we have it in our cars, which is when the car will move, obviously it'll give you some signs. You talk about the, uh, uh, eventually about the intelligent cruise control, which is with the, with the braking assist, so eventually, you know, the car can help you uh, eventually brake when it's needed. 
if I think about the, the brake assist, you know, when you're trying to park your car, if you really, you're not listening to all the signals, you're giving you the car with brake on your behalf. So the, the technology that we're talking about, it's not, uh, it's not a dream technology or it's not technology for the next five years. It's technology that we have now and it's available on all the new cars that we're launching. If you look at the X-Trail, we spoke a lot about the, about the intelligent the Nissan intelligent mobility. So every car is playing into that, into that pillar. Obviously with the Leaf, there is much more technology that has been announced to the Leaf. You can see, we talk about the e-pedal, which is the way we, you drive. So when you're stuck in, obviously in traffic, you can use one pedal by pushing a button. Then it will, it will ease, I think, the pressure on, 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 on your foot by using one foot. You talk about the autopilot, which is obviously uh, uh, available in Japan. And uh, so it will help you really open the traffic that the car to take some of the control, yet keeping some for you. So there are some technologies that are really futuristic that you'll have it on the leaf, but some technologies that we're talking about are available today. So our motto of Nissan Intelligent Mobility is how we talk about our cars, how our vision, but it's not something uh, that, you know, uh, is five years ahead. It's actually, you can see it today. Uh, but will we see some of these autonomous features uh, coming to your model? I mean, now it's been. In, I mean, in Japan, we're selling auto, you know, autonomous driving uh, with the e-note. So you can see some of the technologies already available. In the future, you could see something coming. Uh, I think to other markets and maybe to our region. Until now, we're focusing on the technologies that we have. As you know. Uh, these new technology are probably main, mainly based on infrastructure. So this this need to work a lot with the government on infrastructure and obviously on policies, which is even the most advanced market when it comes to policies. They're still working how the policies will work in terms of insurance and what have you. So I think we have some work to, to, to do in, in these countries to start seeing these technologies uh, coming. Um. Would we see a sort of uh, coming together of uh, the uh, model range and uh, uh, the environment around here so that by, by the time of the Dubai uh, Expo 2020, uh, you, you are able to bring in a, a mainstream model which uh, matches the identity of what you're projecting there? Could be, maybe I will answer you in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I told you, I won't try to get an answer out of you. So, uh, I think, you know, Expo is a, is a strategic platform for us. Expo is about connecting minds and uh, building the future. As a brand, this is where we belong in terms of technology. And Expo, it will be a great opportunity to showcase our mobility uh, and connectivity. I think more to come uh, as we get close uh, into Expo. Uh, but we announce around the thousand unit. Uh, there will be EVs and uh, we can talk about, I think, more as we get as to as we get into it. And your prognosis for 2018? Do you think it will be uh, a similar sort of year to 2017, or are we looking at some more challenges in terms of techno, in terms of in the economy, in the, region, in the region? Look, uh, I think we focus on uh, our product and market share, and this is what we're doing. You know, it will be very difficult to predict how the, how the industry will go. You have a lot of speculation. Uh, today, everybody predicted the oil to be between 50 and 60. We've seen in the last two weeks, you know, hitting almost the 70. I'm not sure what impact will be on the governments in terms of influx of, of cash. So, uh, we don't know. I think the focus for us to be like ensuring we have the right product to the market, focusing on growing our market share in every segment we go and ensuring we have the right strategy in every single segment in terms of channel strategy as a retail on free. So that's our focus, frankly, and I think uh, our the results, I mean, we'll focus on the results and obviously that's what we have in place now. On the pragmatic note, thank you very much for your time. Thank it's you. Been, uh, informative as always, speaking with you. Thank you very much, sir. All the best for the photo show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.